Hey guys, it's Boontar checking in. Uh, I am right now in uh, Davenport, Iowa. I am about to go get a bite to eat. And I, uh, I saw Aristocob, I saw Scott's uh, video yesterday uh, with his, uh, his little drive through taco place he went to in uh, Scottsdale. So I got this really cool place uh, that I go to over here that's got some uh, interesting burritos that I'm, I want to share with you guys. <clears throat> but before I do, I thought I would share something because it's, it's a little bit of a walk from here. I got I don't know if you can see here, take a look out here. I am parked actually. This is a, here, if you look out here, <clears throat> that's a movie theater there. And they got a big old parking lot. So I don't know if I was supposed to park here or not, but uh, I've parked here and, and nobody's ever given me any gruff. But if you can see off in the distance that, that the guy there that's walking towards the hotel, that's where I head out that way and around the way. And then down over here and back over there is this burrito spot. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a walk. And I thought I'd have a smoke with me. And if you can if you can see, take a look. If you can see that flag over there, it's a uh, it's a little bit windy here. Uh, probably not nearly as bad as what the, what you guys out on the East Coast have been have been getting. But. Uh, it is a little bit windy here. I'm going to have a pipe for my walk over there. And uh, I got a wind cap with me I think I'm going to use. But before I, I go, I wanted to uh, share something with you guys. I think that, you know, if you see me smoking the truck, you may kind of wonder. Um, you know, I don't have my whole collection with me from home. So what do I bring with me out on the truck and what do I use for smoking? So that's I'm going to show you that real quick before I head to dinner. Um, I have here, all right, this is my little uh, case for my pipes, and then this here, this bag, this is what I use to carry my tobacco in. Now, on one trip where I'm only gone for a day and a half or so, I probably don't need this much stuff, but I like to have a little bit of variety, you know, so I can uh, kind of have choices of what I like to use but this here all right let me put this up on a little table here I'll open this up uh, right now I have an assortment of pipes in here I've got my pouch that uh, Mel Vegatax KC made and uh, and of course some pipe cleaners back there and then my tamper from uh, Greg Chaplick <clears throat> and I got a few pipes with me I've got uh, Here's a couple of Petersons. This one is my 2012 St. Patrick's Day pipe. And this is the Shannon pipe that I uh, just got recently with Sister Skipsy and I each got a pipe not that long ago. Um, here is my monolith pipe and my melee pipe from uh, Edge of Flame. And this is from Black Metal Pipe Smoker. Um, this one here is a uh, black Meerschaum. This is an older one of mine that uh, I like to use for testing different flavors and stuff. And of course, my uh, corn cob legend, Missouri Meerschaum from uh, Aristocob. And then, uh, last but certainly not least, is my Rivara pipe from uh, Buddy Philip Rivara. There we go. So that's my uh, that's my little wallet of and I'll, I'll change these up I'll put in different uh, different pipes to take with me on on each trip but I uh, take that bring that with me <clears throat> and then I've got my uh, bag here which I could fit in here more than enough tobacco I've got my up in here's my little I need to get this out anyway my little wind cap beside which pipe I'm gonna take with me to dinner and then I carry uh, an assortment of tobaccos in here so Let's see, I've got right now the uh, Blue Mountain I just picked up at Strauss the other day. It's really good stuff. Royal Vintage Latakia number one. My uh, old Dark Fired. I think I got a little baggie of Hobbit's Weed. This is the uh, Amphora that I got from uh, Miko, Edge of Flame, and I use that in my Miko pipe. Uh, some. Miss, nope, that, I'm sorry, that's Stonehaven. I had to take a look at it 
real quick. All right, let's see. I got uh, some McBaron plum cake. I brought that one with me. I don't usually have the glass jars with me, but I brought this one with me because I got that uh, pipe from Mel yesterday, and I wasn't sure if she was going to smoke the McBaron plum cake. I was going to use it out of a jar that's already open rather than open that new tin. H.H. Uh, Vintage Syrian, uh, some Dunhill Early Morning Pipe, and Stanwell Melange. And no, I go, yeah, here it is. My little, uh, my little brick of Mississippi River I take with me. And I think that's all I got in here. I usually have some of that uh, Three Oaks Syrian I've been smoking, but I think I had that out at the house. I was smoking some of it, must have left it at home. So, <clears throat> I gotta decide which pipe and which tobacco I'm gonna use and uh, get that packed up and ready to head on for my walk over to get my burrito. And then I'll uh, I'll show you guys this burrito place is really cool. So, I'll, uh, I'll see you over there. All right, see ya. Well, I'm off to go get my burrito. <clears throat> and I decided on the, uh, on the legend here, and you can see the truck in the background. The reason I decided on the legend, and I got some of that Blue Mountain in here. It's really good stuff. I hope to, it's awfully windy. It's probably going to be really bad on the audio here, but I decided on my Aristocob corn cob bite because it was uh, Scott's video yesterday that kind of gave me the idea to go ahead and do this video. This place is, this place is really cool the way they, they make their own tortillas. Uh, fresh to order with every every burrito they make. Now I'm going to show you that. It's kind of cool. But having my pre-dinner smoke <clears throat> with my little wind cap on there. Mm -hmm. Some tasty stuff. It's not that far away. I'm already from where I left the truck, I'm already over halfway there. Um, well, almost halfway there. Uh, all right, I'll see you over there. All right, you can see, it's really not that far away. Uh, that's, okay. There's that movie theater. And just through the trees there, you can see my truck. And so I go around the parking lot down there, down the hotel, and back over this way, behind this little shopping plaza next to the dumpsters. No, that's not where I'm going to be having dinner. <clears throat> but let's take a look right over here. This place right here. Pancheros Mexican Grill. So they it's one of those giant burrito places kind of like a uh, Chipotle or Cadoba or whatever. But they make their own tortillas here, which is really cool. So I'll show you that here in a minute. People are looking at me, a guy talking to a camera by himself. Hey! Look, they're, they're looking. Hey! All right, see ya. So, there. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Look, they take these little balls of dough and they put it in this high pressure steamer thing. 435 degrees, look at that. Now it's a giant tortilla. These little balls of little tiny balls of dough, and it turns out look at that. And they put it on the grill, and you got a fresh grilled tortilla. How cool is that? I'm gonna do, uh, yeah, rice and black beans, please. You get all the normal fixings, kind of like a uh, any of the burrito bars. But, uh, yeah, this place makes their own fresh tortillas. Uh, it's good. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Here's another thing I forgot to mention. They take their ingredients, look at this, and they mix it all up 
you don't see this at Chipotle. They don't do that. You, you don't have a nice homogenous burrito like you do here at Fancheros. Look at that. All mixed up with a nice paddle. Make a giant burrito. It's so good. Ch Ch what's that? Sure. Chipotle ain't got nothing on you guys. Not at all. Look, there's so much stuff in there that can't, it, it bursts right through the tortilla. Wrap that sucker up. Excellent. All right. All right, they don't have horchata. I asked the guy if they had horchata. He says, oh, I wish. So no horchata. I got, I got water. But, hey, Scott. Is that place you go to in Scottsdale? Do they make their own tortillas? They might have horchata, but take a look. Look at this burrito. Mm. 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 Fresh grilled tortilla right there. Some good stuff. Like Randall say, I'm gonna get you one. Go get you a burrito. Mm. Some good stuff, y'all. Yeah. Well, I finished up my burrito. I'm sitting right outside the restaurant. Now you can see in there. There's a <clears throat> I got these little, little tables, like lawn furniture out here. I figure I sit out here and relight my smoke. <clears throat> sit here and relax a little bit and let that get that burrito digest, I swear. It's almost intoxicating. I think I've I think I've got a bit of a burrito buzz. <clears throat> but I'm enjoying the rest of the bowl of that uh Blue Mountain. And and I gotta tell you, this Blue Mountain. For those of you that don't know about the Blue Mountain, it's actually uh <clears throat> It was from the uh, 2011 Chicagoland uh, Tobacco Pipe and Tobacco Show that they have. Uh, they had the 2011, <coughs> they called it the Bulk and Sobrani Throwdown. And they had, uh, uh, I think, three or four of the different major blenders that were competing to come up with the... Uh, <clears throat> closest match to the original, I think it's 759 uh, mixture of the Balkan Sobrani. And the winner of that was uh, was the uh, Black House that I think uh, Alan Woods did a review of that. And I, I think uh, somebody else had some of the Black House. But <clears throat> this stuff, the Blue Mountain, this stuff actually won that competition for the uh, People's Choice. So, uh, the inspiration for this was the Balkan Sobrani, the original Balkan Sobrani, but um, it didn't win the competition for being closest to that mixture, but uh, for the uh, people attending that show or that convention, uh, just as a, a blind sample with no, uh, <clears throat> no point of reference or no comparison, just, just tasting the tobaccos, the the entries that were submitted. This is the one that won the People's Choice and had the uh, best best results for that. So it's really stinking good. And I'll tell you too, after smoking it on the way over here and now relighting it, it doesn't taste bad at all on a re on a relight either. I know some some tobaccos you try and relight them, and they just taste like 
uh, pig squat, but it's actually, this is really nice on the relight, so. But that's it. That's my dinner. That's my smoke. I had a lovely burrito. And now I'm going to enjoy the rest of my uh, smoke on the way back to the truck, so. That's it for me, guys. Until next time, smoke them up. Mm.